I've been in finance and business development for most of my career. And several years ago, I invested in a medical technology company that facilitated the diagnosis and treatment of sleep apnea. Initially, when I started to look at this company and what they were offering, um, I didn't really know much about sleep apnea. And so as I started to, to dig into to the research, I, I started to realize that I had some of the signs and symptoms of, of sleep apnea. Uh, I, was, I was getting ready for a triathlon. I was in arguably the, the best shape of my life. Um, and so I was certain that, that I probably didn't have sleep apnea. Um, I thought it was for older people, people that were out of shape, um, and, and really didn't correlate that it could be something for such a broad spectrum of the population. I decided that I would get a sleep test. I was shocked um, when they called me with the results. Uh, I had stopped breathing 33 times an hour in my sleep. And what was more important than that is that my heart rate got to 122 beats per minute. My heart rate was just getting up so high because I was not breathing. And when you stop breathing uh, in your sleep, your body does anything that it can to either get you to wake up or to get to circulate what oxygen you have in your body. So I come to this realization that I've got sleep apnea and I go to, to my doctor and talk to him about it. Uh, of course, the immediate response was, we need to get you on a CPAP. So I went and I got fitted for one of these devices that is basically like a vacuum on your face. I tried it every night for like three months. I would wake up in the morning and it would be on the floor. So for me, this technology that, that we provide to, to dentists throughout the world um, was really my only option. About three or four weeks later, um, I was coming home from a business trip. It was about four o'clock and he calls me on the phone and he says, hey, your device is in. Why don't you come in Monday and we'll get you started in your treatment. An hour and a half later, my wife was rushing me to the hospital because I was having a stroke. What I've realized is that you're 83% more likely to suffer from a stroke if you have untreated sleep apnea. I can't tell you the difference that it made for me when I finally got into treatment. I felt rested and ready to tackle the day. Uh, my workouts were better. Um, my focus was, was better. Um, I was less irritable. The quality of life has improved dramatically and improved fairly quickly um, after getting into treatment. Take this seriously. I don't want you to have the same thing happen to you that happened to me, or even worse. I no longer have the worry of what's going to happen in the middle of the night. So for me, um, I just wanna make sure this story gets out because I wanna make sure that patients like you don't experience the same traumatic event that I went through. Reach out, register for an event, learn more about what we're doing, talk to your provider, whatever you need to do to begin the journey to better health.